Candy Grams is a new and original crossword game for two to four players and everyone ages seven and up. Candy Grams puts a colorful new twist on word games. Here's how to play. Each player starts with a shop of 25 letter tiles, also called candies, and builds their own color-coded crossword. To begin, each player builds their own base word, which must use all three candy colors, pink, yellow, and blue. Each following round begins with a roll of the dice for a color combo. Every player then connects one new word to their own crossword, matching the color combo rolled. To match the color combo, your entire new word must use both colors rolled and only those colors. So, for example, if the color combo is pink and yellow, your new word must use at least one pink letter, at least one yellow letter, but no blue letters. Once every player has completed their word, pass the dice to the left and roll again to start a new round. If the dice roll a double, two of the same color, your word must use only that color. The game advances in rounds as players continue to connect one new word for every roll of the dice until the first player to use all their letters in their crossword wins. It really is that simple. Here are just a few other things you need to know. First, a player may choose to pass in any round if necessary. Second, in any round the dice roll a double, every player has the option to make one trade with the candy jar, a pile of 10 face down letters in the center of the table at any time during that round. If you choose to make a trade, leave the letter you're trading away face up in the candy jar. You may trade away any color letter regardless of which double is rolled. Choose any face up or face down letter to complete your trade. As long as your new letter matches the color combo, you're allowed to use it toward building your new word that same round. You're also allowed to create multiple words in a single round, but only when letters in your new word are touching other letters already on your crossword to form additional valid words. Keep in mind, any extra words formed in this way must also match the color combo. One more thing. You may also, in any round, remove letters already played on your crossword and use them toward building a new word. For example, removing the E and the D from stayed leaves stay. You can then use the E and the D along with, say, TRI to create tried, matching the pink and yellow color combo rolled. Stay becomes what's called a leftover and is allowed to stay on your crossword. A leftover does not need to match the color combo but must remain a valid word. Any letters you remove but don't use toward your new word must be put back in your shop for later use. The best part? That's just the standard version. For those who like a faster pace of play, there's also the Express version. In Express, after each roll of the dice, players race to be the first and only to connect any one new word to their own crossword matching the color combo rolled. It's a fast and frenzied word race, sugar rush guaranteed. Candy Grams. You'll need just the right combination of skill, strategy, and luck to win. But you never know how the dice will roll. Thank you.